guys, so here's the score. I got my notch done for my oil line right here, the hydraulic line. So that notch is done. And right now, what my main concern is, is one, did I set that clutch right? Because I didn't set it. And that concerns me. Because I'm not too, uh, not too sure about my measurements. But that's fine. We can cross that bridge when we come to it. So right now, one, I don't know if the engine runs. I'm sure it does. I haven't seen it run. haven't heard it run. And two, I don't know where this tractor came from. And I don't know if the transmission works or not. That could be a problem. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the tractor together enough to where I can start it and move it, put the front end on it, hook the hydraulics back up, just run a few lines. No, that's not a big deal. We'll do that. And um, I'm not even going to worry about coolant, nothing, because I'm not going to run it that long. Um, <clears throat> I just want to start it, hear it run, see it move, and then we can go from there. I can go back, do the oil pan, and then I can f configure Let's see, we got to do uh, the throttle linkage is on the wrong side. I got to come up with something for that. We got to machine the harmonic balancer. And um, I got the rest of the parts that I need that were missing off this tractor because it was like 80% of a tractor when I got it. So first order of business is just get it to where it's a rolling tractor again and uh, we're going to take it from there so hopefully today we see a first start and move under its own power that that's the goal for today and then like i said we can go back and once all that's confirmed we can go from there and finish it um now as far as the the clutch being the way that it is and I don't know I mean it, it, it kind of it engages and disengages but it's not it don't feel right to me and I didn't research it and I don't have a book on it so I'm just kind of winging it I might have to go to John Deere and get the actual tool and learn how to do it the right way and then put it back together which isn't a really big deal to me but yeah anyway I'm done rambling a lot and half of you probably have left the video already so I'll get moving we'll just start putting this thing together all right. Okay, so the first order of business here is this is going to be in the way of this. So this has to be machined off, just the first V up to about where the rubber meets. So I'm going to precisely machine it with an angle grinder to make it fit.
Okay, now we got rid of this stupid thing. And that's fine because uh, we didn't need it anyway. But there's a couple more problems. Now, down here, this brace that I was trying to just point out a little bit ago, but my camera was not sitting right at all. But anyway, this piece here, it's still going to hit. So I got to notch this out because I'm still about a half inch away from the block to have the bracket actually bolt up. And then that's going to lead me to the next problem is installing this. So if I put one of these studs in here, which they're like, I don't know, a little over a half inch long stud. And now before I say anything else, this hole goes in approximately one inch deep. So I can trim some of this off, but I don't quite have the clearance that I'm going to need to make this work. And I'll just screw this in here to show you. I go to hook this up. Say I'm all not even able to clear it and I still have to come forward about a half inch with my pump. So I'm gonna have to wiggle some room. Now I can do a few different things to gain myself some room here. Like I said, I can take and cut off more off of this face here and shorten that up. And that can gain me about a half an inch. Um, and then I can also put a couple washers on the back side of the brace over here and then over here somewhere and see if I can separate the pump back from the motor a little bit. That'll gain me a little space. But I can't go too far because of like, the power steering and the front end and whatnot. So that's what I'm up against now. We'll figure something out for that. Okay, so this slides back uh, about four and five eighths of an inch or so. So what I'm going to do to get this to move back more is I'm going to take it to the step drill and on the drill press. And then I'm going to just kind of wallow that out a little bit more just on the end so I can get just a little bit more out of it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so before we had four and seven eights, or, or wait, no, four and five eights. So let's see what we get now. Alrighty. Okay, so now we got now we got four and a quarter. So that gained us quite a bit. So we got that, and then um, then we spaced this out a little bit between the bracket and the pump. Okay, so now let's go and uh, size same to go up back on the tractor. Okay, so between the block and the bracket that holds the hydraulic pump. Now, I'm going to use four more of these lock washers like I used for the front half of the bracket to get... Okay, so this looks like it's gonna work. We've got our harmonic, or nah, it's, it's a dampener. But we got our dampener ground down to where we got plenty of clearance now. So between what we've done here, that gained us about, I was it like five eighths of an inch or something like that. Then another eighth of an inch here, and then another eighth of an inch uh, right there. So with all of those powers combined, we made it work and I just got to get two more of these somewhere so this can go back together but that that's gonna work so then we got our hydraulic line hooked up on this side and over there on that side there uh, so we got our line ran down the frame rail here and then we got our notch right here this should clear the frame rail, in theory, uh, it should. If it don't go back on, I might have to do some more finagling, but that should work. And then we got that hooked back up. So now all I gotta do is hook up the transmission cooler, uh, run the uh, so power steering line, and that should be enough to where I could hook up a jerry can, hook up a battery, and should be really close to getting it to start from there. Okay, so I think I got everything back together to where we can start it. I've got hydraulics hooked up. I came up with some pens that came off the original motor for the hydraulics. And so that's back together. And then I've got a battery box installed with a battery here. Starters hooked up. I got a fuel system hooked up. Lines bred. I even got a starter. So that's all where we're at right now is I'm going to try to start it and I'm going to try to move it. So with any luck, all I got to do is uh, crank on it and it'll fire right up, hopefully. I think I better chill on my battery for a second.
close. Okay, so that's what I was afraid of. It starts, but it don't shift. But it could just be really low on fluid still. So I guess uh, we'll get some more fluid. But it does start. That's good. Okay, well, I got some work to do. Thanks for watching. See you again next week.